I'll not pay overtime, little one. dumps scattered all over this area. There's another group here, and another group right here. There are four others on the western flank, and three to the east, all perfectly camouflaged, and all being supplied regularly from a super dump. Multi-bomber air raids, I'm afraid, haven't solved the problem. So we have to destroy the supply center where the rest get their fuel. Eh? Without gas, the Africa Corps is helpless. Yes, but do we know where the central dump's located? It's around here. We're quite certain. But only one man actually knows the exact position. An English officer. An English officer? Right. A major, Anthony Briggs. This was all his idea, and he'll command the operation. It's essentially a commando attack. Hmm, but a land approach is impossible. The area's never been mapped. The Major lived around here as a child. Claims he knows the zone inside out. It's up to us to provide him with all the field material he needs. And the men too, of course. Send in Major Briggs. Gentlemen, Major Briggs. What happened to your cheek? Oh, I cut myself shaving, sir. Nothing bad, huh? Eh? Oh, no, sir. Captain Norton will arrange for the supplies you require to make your trip. Thank you, sir. And what about my ordnance team? It's impossible to get them here quickly enough for this operation. We have our own demolition experts, and they all know what they have to do. Oh, I do imagine you're right. But I trust you'll have no objection if I select the men for the team personally. Can you explain why this didn't go off, Casella? Eh, uh, Casella? Uh, uh... I think I uh, forgot to light it. <laughs> Casella! <laughs> it's just no friggin' you trying nah. to make a soldier out of you. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Try again. Well? Huh? Hmm? 
You gotta stop the stupid clowning. You're a big boy, remember? Oh, Lieutenant Everhart, I ain't clowning. All right, keep trying. The voice counts. Uh, yeah, give me that. Hey, ain't that the limey major from the Cosmos strip joint last night? Nice. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a little of that freckled puss. <laughs> Wounded in action. <laughs> What's up? Let me in on the joke. <laughs> yeah, sure, we're dragging fun of that English major there. Yeah, so when we had to teach a little lesson to in a cash bar last night. <laughs> up to Billings. I'd like to speak to you. Yes, sir. Catch. I wonder if that old spit and polish had reported everybody. You mean he'd tell them about how he got those eyes? <laughs> <laughs> We're playing a red, white, and blue for good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Billings, Major Briggs. I understand we take our orders from the Major, sir. That's right, Billings. Mm -hmm. And this is supposed to be a very important operation? It is. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, sir. The men won't disappoint you. I presume these are the men. Hmm. Unprepossessing lot, all of them, aren't they? But God is on our side. At least I hope he is. <laughs> gotcha, sir. <laughs> I don't like their attitude. I'm sorry, Major. Captain. Sir. Major. Don't be too harsh, sir, in judging my men. This hellhole is getting them down. Who are you? Sergeant Stanley? Yes, sir. This is our sergeant, Red Stanley, regular army. Twice decorated for bravery in action. That one? Corporal Russell. Expert in mine laying. That one? And that's Corporal Blaine, Jack Blaine. Cutthroat Jack, we call him. He was a knife throw in the circus before the war. Starred with Barnum and Bailey. And that one? Casella. Casella! <laughs> it works! You all of you. And most of you now know the Major. He's taking over command of our unit. <laughs> that reminds me, Casella. Selected to perform an important mission. And I chose most of you personally because you've proved that you have plenty of spirit. You think you're tough, don't you? Oh, no. You'll have to be a lot more than just tough to get what I'll take you. Hmm. Lieutenant, would you get out the other map?
Continue advancing, and that's an order. Apparently, you didn't hear me, Major. I said there's a Lieutenant, mine. Lieutenant, I heard you quite clearly, and I gave you an order. Giving orders is easy. <laughs> when I have to die, I suppose I have to. But I don't think I should be wasted. No, no. We're hauling. When I give an order, the responsibility is mine, Lieutenant. And I expect you to carry out those orders, do you hear? But wait a minute, Major. You don't have to do that. This boy's cuckoo. God help him. Even if he is a limey. Hit the dirt! Just a dummy minefield, you see. We laid out quite a number of them to confuse enemy units. They all have to stop here, and we drive right through the middle, full speed ahead. <laughs> He's pretty smart, eh? He's too smart for me. Just like a what? It's a German unit. Change course. Ja, 
Vehicles are burned out. We gave theirs the same treatment. It's hot notice. We have to bury these poor bastards. Burial squad. I'm sorry, Lieutenant Billings. We have no time for such formalities. Fall into line, everyone. You heard that order. Everybody fall oh, in. Oh, what? Germans may arrive here at any moment, men. Which means we've no time to waste. Now, I shall ask all of you, one by one, your shoe size. Is that clear? Mm, like meatballs. Lieutenant Billings? Lieutenant Billings, sir? Will you tell me your shoe size, please? Your shoe size? Eight and a quarter. You? Seven and a half. You. Seven. You. Eight, sir. And you? <coughs> Catella. Uh, ten, sir. My family used to make wine. Follow me. You're to begin walking in that direction. Keep going straight and don't look back, understand? Alone? Alone. But what about? Get going. How'd I ever get into this man's army anyway? Straight, Casella. Mama, your only son. All right, man, let's go. Those big booted footprints are the only way out. And take care that no one leaves any additional ones.
fits over here in the sand. Just one. He was most probably a deserter, which means his company went into the other direction. We are heading north. Follow him and let's go. Man, you can take a breather. You're getting tired, Billings, from the look of you. You appreciate, right. man, our trip has just begun. Oh. oh, I can't keep this up much longer, Sarge. My dogs are killing me. There's some consolation in knowing his big dogs are barking just as loud as ours. <laughs> Whereabouts are we headed for, Major? I'll tell you that at the appropriate time. Hey, Red. Yeah, Lieutenant. Tell the men to prepare to get moving immediately. Yes, sir, Lieutenant. It's cold tonight. Uh, won't keep me awake. I creepy <laughs> bastard. Hey, the Major says it's time to be moving. Huh? He must be nuts. He's had a dose of sunstroke. It's affected his brain. Yeah, I concur with you, Casella. Mm -hmm. Doing a word of commission, screwballs. Mm -hmm. And lime juice, too. Well, well, well. Here comes a panzer unit. Oh, no. Look, they're stopping. quite impossible to proceed unobserved like this. We're practically theirs. No, Major. Get going. Snap to it. Come on.
big oasis. Not time, we took a little breather. Come on. Das letzte Mal in München. Da gab es eine Menge zu erleben. like a wop. Stick to the 
go off. How the devil do we get into this place? The door is open, brothers. Priest. As you see. But what are they doing here? They had an unfortunate accident with the ambulance. The Tenente here was injured. They hope to find one of their unit patrol cars. You're looking for another patrol in this area? But there aren't any others. We have a supply depot very near here. Their patrol is due any moment now, so they're in for a surprise. Take a look inside. Let's go. Just who are you? Tenente Franco Natalini, 1st Division, Centauro. And you? Liesel Zetholz. Deutsche, eh? Red Cross nurse? Yeah. And you're the abbot of this monastery? Oui. Hmm. Why don't you search them? Found something, sir. Seems kind of strange. A Red Cross nurse, a wounded Italian lieutenant, and now this dead German captain here. Yes. And do you notice his feet? His boots have been removed. There now, Franco. I'm almost through. Oh. Uh. oh. It's all hopeless now. All because of you. Instead of the driving, you were thinking about her. Nonsense. It was only an accident. <laughs> Obviously, you're on his side. Loyalty, I take it. But don't forget, there are three of us. We're in this together. All the others are dead now. Well, what do you suggest we do? Please, must you keep badgering? Uh, that wasn't at all my intention. But what happens now? We must wait for the opportune moment. And if it doesn't come, hmm? then all those deaths have meant nothing at all. There's one thing we're all sure of. Your boyfriend will be court-martialed if we're found out. He'll be shot for deserting. That's enough out of you. Just be patient for a little. Hmm. Thanks for everything, Lisa. Got you. Well, why shouldn't I help you? What did you do? But I'm so sorry about the way all this has turned out. And we're both sorry about the others, love. Rudy, Ludwig, Erich, Martin. And to think they died hoping to make a better life for people like us. We are still alive, don't forget. The only thing that counts... is that they didn't die like heroes without glory.
we dare not fail. Do you understand that, Lieutenant? Yeah, but, Major, there's only a few of us. More than sufficient. And those other three, what about them? They go with us. We can't possibly do that. We haven't got enough food the way things are. Would you rather they announced our whereabouts to the enemy, Lieutenant? Merciful Savior, receive the souls of these, your poor servants, and grant them everlasting peace and thine eternal grace. Requiescant in pace. Amen. I say pace. Huh? Pace and amen. That's the end of the service. Please convince the Major not to take us with you. He wouldn't even listen. Yes, but what's the point? And you see, Franco still isn't very strong. Sorry, only an order is an order. I have to do what the Major says. What do you say? Impossible. Well, come on then. Get a move on there. But I can't possibly abandon the monastery now. There's nothing to it, Padre. on me. I'm Italian, too. Thanks. <laughs> You're lucky you live in the United States. Go, Fraulein Doctor. Sorry, it's American. That's for your boyfriend. Right, right. Thank you. All right, found a major. Not bad. Myers, mate. Take cover, German patrol. We better leave them alone if they don't spot us. One squeak out of you and you've had it.
much, you know. Give me that, you slut. Just no etiquette. Come on, move yourselves. Hurry! You idiot. When he comes back, he'll know that there was someone here. Now let's go. Don't worry, I'll fix it. You can't rush, Lieutenant. Now, have you nicht gesagt? Immer laufen wir hier im Kreis herum. Ja, es kommt mir auch so vor. Mensch, diese Hitze. Ich bin auch wirklich satt hier. Ja. Ich hab Durst. Und bin auch müde. Hey, wo ist denn der Karl? Ridiculous to go on. Our water supply is almost finished and you keep shaving in it. That's my share and how I use it is my business, Billings. We have obligations to fulfill, Lieutenant. We shall continue our advance and I shall shave my beard. You get it ass like all the English. You Americans are all alike. You tend to behave like a lot of amateurs. You fight a war like a game or hobby. And pull out when you think the going has become rugged. We fight as professionals. And we carry on to the bitter end despite the odds. Yeah, we haven't got much further to go then. Because at this rate, we're all going to be dead quite soon, if that's what you want. I'm tired of all these complaints. I hold a command here. Just do as you're told. You're out of your mind. You want to risk the lives of my men. Only I don't intend to permit it, Major Briggs. The bastard wants to murder us all. Y'all don't worry, I'm going to get him first. You'll see. Sure you are. You're always going to get somebody, ain't you? Well, just cut the crap and keep moving. Yeah. Keep moving. I can't keep this up. It's hard, but Franco, you've got to. It's hopeless, Liesl. It's impossible. It's all because of you were in this situation. Damn you anyway. Let go, you're hurting him. What's going on? Nothing. He's very ill, Lieutenant. His temperature is rising. He's getting delirious. It's all right, though. He'll get over it. I'll give him some sedation right away. Why don't we tell the truth? We'll never be able to do it alone. What's the use of pretending? Let everyone share the gold. Look. There. There. Look, the rock bridge. The rock bridge. There it is. There it is. Don't pay any attention to him. He's sick. Kill her. Keep still. Damn it. Keep quiet. Run on the So much for him. Let him go. Let him go! Let him go! No, Franco, no! Here. It's on Papyrus. 
The tomb of King Margus of the Ptolemies is right here. And over there is the rock bridge. Let's see that. Hmm. Papyrus. Don't tell me you're going to read this. And this writing is ancient Egyptian. See, see. They tell exactly how to get to the tomb of the pharaohs. The tomb's full of treasure. Millions and millions of dollars worth of gold. Dollari, dollari per tutti. We've had quite enough of this rubbish, I think. Where'd you find it? Prepare to break camp. At the monastery. I found it hidden among a lot of old papers. Is it authentic? No question about it, yes. Uh -huh. All we have to do is follow the instructions and the treasure is all ours. We're moving on. If we find the treasure together, we'll divide it with all of you in equal shares. I said we're moving on. Hold on, Major. I'm giving the orders and you'll follow them. Are you sure of that? Don't force me to use this if you value your life. Get going! Look what you've done, you crazy, limey bastard! All right, from now on, I issue orders, Major. Lieutenant, are you quite out of your mind? You are running the risk of a court-martial! Now, you take it easy, old buddy. It ain't serious. Only there's no more disinfectant. Listen here, you're the one who ought to be court-martialed, Major. Better toss out your book of rules, man. You've lost all sense of values. You're going to pay for this outrage. Only time will tell. Do you remember the mission we're here to perform? Sure I do. And I promise you that it'll be completed. But it'll be the both of us from now on. Come on, that rock bridge should be explored. <laughs> See, that's strange. Huh? Your arm's cured already. Oh, the power of gold can work miracles. It can cure everything. Yeah, come on. understand hieroglyphics so well. I made a special study of the ancient manuscripts in the monastery. Oh, at last. This must be the pile of rocks. Exactly where the map indicated them. I suspect there's something very fishy here. It's going far too smoothly. Can you make it? I'm feeling pretty bad, buddy. Thanks to that stupid mother, he'll get his. The direction we take from these rocks is northwest. And Yamo. Hmm? All right. Hey! Hey, let's get moving. You can do it, Red. <laughs> yeah, sure. I, I can do anything. <coughs> oh. Stiff upper lip. Some 
impossible. Damn like a mine is swollen all the hell. Uh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. I, I... Never mind. We're stopping for a breather. It's pretty bad, and it's not improving either. Pretty bad. Next thing, you'll tell me you want to cut it off. Yes, that might be necessary. No. Please! You bastard! They have to cut off my leg! They have to cut off my leg! Because of you! You dirty bastard! <laughs> no one's gonna cut off your leg, come on. Don't touch me. Leave me alone. Sergeant, it's gonna be all right. You don't expect we're gonna leave you behind. Beat it, I tell you. Beat it! Ah, uh, come on, Sergeant. You're tough on the billy go, Rad. Don't try getting closer. I'm staying here and a French priest can pray for me. Well, bear off, Wally, and leave me alone. Move, Lieutenant, and you too, Lily Marlene. Go on. Beat it. You two, beat it! I'm giving you one more warning. After that, I fire. Clear out of here, right now! Just try me, I'll kill all of you if you won't leave me here alone. I'll kill every one of you! Three miles away from here. You need the pillows? The entrance to the tomb. You're kidding. Armored cars! Down. Get down. Hunt for gold and fight and kill. 
You won't listen to a woman. You're due for a sad delusion. If you expect to find any gold. The army is the only life I know. And I believe everyone ought to comply with its methods. Sticking to the rules isn't easy. Is it? There aren't any pillars. So it was a trick. There's nothing here. Or anywhere else around here. A map left no possibility of error. So far it's been accurate every time. It said we'd find the pillars near here. Maybe the termites said them. I can't believe it. Perhaps we misunderstood. Don't give me that bull, kid. <coughs> Blocking the entrance. Huh? Stella, bring the dynamite. Yes, sir. There. We're ready. All right, everybody. Keep down. Out of the way. senses, darling. It doesn't make the slightest difference. I can't stand it here. The air is filled with evil. 
You're right. There's a strange sensation. I can't explain it. But it's true. I can feel something like an evil presence, if you ask me. Lousy African tombs, poison air conditioning. Help yourself to some of the gold, but remember it's impossible to pack all of it. Come on. Anjamo. Come on, get a move on. The sooner we're out of here, the better. Hey, Rosh, hey, Rosh. You were all fooled by what the captain's wearing. Captain? A padre who skimps a funeral and robs a pair of boots is no padre. Then it was you who killed the real one and made off with the papyrus. Of course it was. Wouldn't you have killed him too? That's my cow. But his death has made all of us very rich. And you're all going to profit as much as we are. And he wasn't alone. Have you forgotten all the others? And you? How many of those deaths were you responsible for? None of us is innocent. Heil Hitler! Have you finished your sermon, Captain Carl? Yes! I also had enough of you and your God! Ah!
Come on. <laughs> Just like in those John Wayne movies, eh? Ah! Alarm, Lieutenant Billings. We're almost there. You see, I'm quite familiar with all this part of the desert. I hope you are. Because I'm afraid I can't hold out much longer. When we return to base, exactly what are you going to say? Everything. told you. I shall obey orders as long as I stay a soldier, boy. You must be nuts, you little tin heroes. I'm getting out of here. No, Steve. Wait. Wait. I might succeed in this alone, but the chances are very slight. If you help me, I know we can do it. Do you understand, Steve? It's perfectly clear. Won't both survive this one. 
But the sea lies to the north. Yeah, so? A submarine has been stationed there with instructions to pick up our party. You'll be able to reach it with that girl. Major. Ich 
We Americans are professionals, too. Right on. 